Tuesday, June 28th at 9.03 p.m. from um, message saved. Next message sent Thursday, April 11th at 12.13 p.m. from message saved. Next message sent today, Thursday, April 18th at 7.22 a.m. from phone number 866-227-0213. Duration, 5 seconds. Q. 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 So uh, this is the message that I got this morning on my cell phone about 7 o'clock. Um, I called back and it was a cell phone company, folks. And you could hear the message. Uh, it says kill. That was the message. So uh, something's going on. This is crazy, folks. Um, I called the number back. You heard the number, 866. It is a, uh, it is a phone company. And they sent me a message this morning at... Um, at seven o'clock or so, uh, woke me up and it says kill. So is this something like the cell phone movie, the cell, uh, you know, when, uh, starring John Cusack, when people get a message over their phone and they start killing each other at the airport. I thought that was really freaky folks. Uh, I did record it. I did uh, save that on my, um, on my phone. You just heard it yourself. But uh, if this is your first time here, welcome to Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian, where we do the most accurate news. But uh, folks, last night, uh, as you're looking at this uh, picture here, it was nine hours of pure fear last night, folks. If you listen to the internet, uh, there were YouTube channels that were scaring the living hell out of everybody. Uh, I'm sorry, folks, but you know that's not news. That that's fear. You know, uh, nine hours of fear. There were two or three. Uh, or more channels that were <laughs> Alpha, Roma, uh, Bravo, <laughs> Alpha, Roma, Bravo, <laughs> Alpha, Roma, Bravo, oh my God, oh my God, the sky is falling, oh my God, oh my God, it's here, folks, well, look outside, look outside, folks, is the, is your city still there, is the nuclear bombs, did they go off, did they go off, folks? Uh, let's go to Twitter. Let's let's look at some information here. Let's see what happened last night. Let's see what happened today. Let's see what's really going on in the world. Well, this is Russia. You can look at the um, you can look at the Twitter post. Anything going on is going to be trending over here. We got Trump trial. We got excess deaths. We got treason here. There's nothing about nuclear war. There's nothing about imminent disaster there's nothing about israel or iran on trending on twitter folks um i'm going to give you a little a heads up i'm going to give you a heads up if we are under nuclear attack you will get a message on your cell phone from the white house from the president himself and it will be an emergency message on all cell phones in the united states they tested this out last year and you will get information of what to do uh seek cover uh, go to your basement, um, you know, go to your bunker or whatever. If uh, the United States comes under attack or something really major, urgent is going to happen, then your cell phone will give you a message like an amber alert. But folks, this is ridiculous what happened. Um, uh, you know, uh, nothing happened. Nothing happened but fear sells. And uh, we don't try to give you fear on our channel. I'm sorry, we don't. We try to give you the most accurate news. I mean, we had people texting us and emailing us, hey, hey, do you know what's going on tonight? I mean, uh, something's going on. 911, uh, 911 phone call uh, are out all over the U.S. Well, folks, stuff happens. But look outside. There is no nuclear war going on right now. I mean, everybody was worried about the Israeli war. We, uh, we did a broadcast uh, yesterday on that. Uh, the imminent attack from all breaking news. Um, Israel was supposed to attack Iran, uh, but it looks like that's been canceled. According to the latest news, um, we had articles stating that uh, 
Joe Biden uh, had convinced um, Netanyahu not to do anything. So um, I'm just going to try to give you the breaking news as accurate as we can. Uh, this is the latest from ABC News. Uh, nine 11 services restored in some areas after outages reported in at least states. People were freaking out over that, folks. Like I said, if something was going to happen major, you would get a report on your cell phone. Um, your cell phone would start flashing like an amber alert. You would get an emergency message from the White House to take cover, get in your basement. Uh, we're under attack. That did not happen. Um, but fear sells, folks. It makes a lot of money. Uh, some of these YouTube channels probably made thousands of dollars last night for scaring the hell out of people. You know, that's wrong. You know, that is wrong. I'm sorry. You know, and, and if you're watching me, I'm sorry. You know, if you're one of those channels, I'm sorry. But that's the truth. You know, don't scare the hell out of people just for friggin' making money. That's wrong. You know, give them the news and give an accurate report of the news of what's going on, folks, you know? Um... I, 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 it just kind of bugs me because, uh, uh, you know, fear can kill people, give them heart attacks and strokes. We shouldn't do that. As a news reporter, we should give the most accurate news without trying to scare people, give them, you know, news that's happening. But, um, folks, nothing happened. Look outside. Look at the news reports. Look at CNN. Look at Fox News. Uh, is, is Washington, D.C. destroyed? No. Is New York destroyed? Uh, have we come under a massive nuclear attack? Is, is Israel attacking Iran now? No, no, not, none of that's going on. So, you know, I, I can't control what people do. You know, I have no control over other people. You know, they're going to do what they're going to do. And, uh, you know, it's just sad, though. It, it's just sad. But th this is the breaking news, you know, 9-11 services restored, um, Israel Gaza live update U.S. sanctions 16 people two groups after the Iran attacks U.S. will continue to deploy sanctions to counter any further action by Iran according to the information um, the attack has been canceled uh, this has been reported Israel aborted two planned retaliatory strikes uh, against Iran Israel had planned and then aborted at least two retaliatory strikes against Iran this week Show more uh, on Saturday. On Saturday night, Iran unleashed a retaliatory strike against Israel, sending a volley of more than 300, 100, 300 uh, uncrewed drones and missiles toward targets uh, throughout the country. Israeli military officials said all but a few were intercepted by Israel and its allies, including the United States. Um, Latest headlines, Netanyahu said Israel will make its own decisions on how to respond to Iran. Israeli war cabinet um, meeting ends with no final decision on response. Uh, this is the breaking news from ABC. Um, Israeli war cabinet meeting ends again with no final decision. This is April the 16th. This was actually two days ago. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's war cabinet met for the third day in a row on Tuesday. So, folks, we really don't know when the attack's going to happen, if it's going to happen at all now. Um, like I said, according to the latest information, it has been canceled. Really, Israel cannot, um, they cannot attack Iran without help of the United States. I mean, they can, but in order for them to have, um, in order for them to have, uh, any effect, they're going to have to have the United States uh, come in and help them. So these are some of the breaking headlines. U.S. Uh, Israeli officials to hold high-level meetings on the Rafah plan. U.S. and Israel officials will hold high-level virtual meetings on Thursday about an alternative plan for Israeli military operations in Rafah, a White House official told ABC News. My information is that the United States is going to let Israel uh, attack Rafa if they do not strike Iran. The official said that it will be a secure video meeting that will follow up the discussions from earlier this month. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan will lead the meeting at the U.S. side, officials uh, said. So, um, 
I did have another article here. Let me go to Hal Turner. Uh, we're doing this um, broadcast on our phone. This is a recording. You're listening to a recording. That's why there is no buffering on the sound. Folks, unfortunately, when I do a live chat, when there's some important information, somebody is buffering my channel, whether you want to believe it or not. My internet company uh, has came out at least four times in the last five months. They told me my internet is nothing wrong, wrong, wrong with it. Uh, my equipment is fine. Somebody is messing with my signal. That's why we have buffering. But let's go to some more breaking news. Iran is still threatening Israel. The Damona nuclear center was cyber attack. We will bomb if our Israel attacks. Iran already has nuclear warheads. So this is a, a game changer. Iran is telling the world now that they have nuclear warheads. Iran has confirmed that there is a high possibility that Israel will try to strike its nuclear facilities deep inside in, uh, its interior. The commander of the Revolutionary Guard Corps in charge of nuclear security, Ahmad Haggad Lab, stressed that because of these fears and perhaps information that it has, Iran will change its nuclear doctrine. Iran is talking about a direct strike against Israel nuclear facilities in Damona and also about changing uh, the fat, uh, FATFA, FATFA, F-A-T-F-A, as War News had revealed. Iran says we will hit the Damona nuclear reactor. Iran may revise its nuclear doctrine after the Israeli threats. Said, according to the TASM agency, the commander of the Revolutionary Guard Corps said, in charge of nuclear security. So what's happening is uh, the report that we did yesterday. They said Israel had made their mind up. The attack was imminent. Uh, they were going to target uh, Iran's nuclear sites. Well, Iran came out today and said, well, if you do that, we will hit your nuclear sites in Damona, Israel. It's going to be, uh, you're going to have radiation all over your country too. So uh, I do think that Israel has postponed the attack, folks because this would probably be the end of Israel if Iran strike their nuclear reactors, uh, because Israel is so small, there would be radiation everywhere and nobody could live there. So uh, this is an ongoing situation. We don't know if Israel is going to strike Iran right now. We don't know it. Maybe they'll do it, uh, hit some more targets in Syria, maybe in Lebanon, maybe in Gaza. But... Uh, I don't know if the United States is going to let them do that because Israel needs the strato tankers uh, that the U.S. provides and NATO provides to refuel their fighter jets. They could do a nuclear attack on Iran, you know, with their submarines, but uh, that would probably be the end of the world because Iran would strike back in Russia. So, folks, uh, you better be thankful this morning that Israel did not attack Iran. Because this thing could get uh, out of hand very quickly, and, and we could have an Armageddon-type uh, war on our hands. And God, uh, de uh, he must have intervened uh, because uh, it doesn't look like the attack is going to happen. But, uh, you know, I could be wrong, you know. And uh, so far, uh, the attack uh, is not going to happen uh, today. We don't know. But uh, the information I am getting is that the Biden administration and world leaders have put pressure on Israel not to attack Iran because it could lead to a massive war in the Middle East that nobody wants, especially Joe Biden, since he's trying to be reelected. So I did want to give you a, uh, a short broadcast this morning. If anything happens, uh, we'll try to be back later this afternoon, folks. But, you know... Um, as a news channel, as trying to be as responsible as we can, uh, we want to bring you the news, the latest news, so you'll be informed. But folks, we don't want to scare you. We don't want to put fear into you. That, that fear is from the devil, you know? Um, we try to do this as balanced as possible to give you the news, the important information. But folks, when you go out to try to scare people just to make money, that's wrong, folks. It's wrong. You know, it's wrong. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. It's wrong. Uh, and 
that's what happened last night. I mean, look at you, look at your window, folks. Are we still here? Is the United States still intact? Have any of our bases been hit? Huh? Do, do you hear anything going on? <laughs> Alpha Roma Bravio. <laughs> Alpha Roma Bravio. <laughs> Alpha Roma Bravio. Oh my God! Oh my God! Folks, we shouldn't do that. We should not do that. That's not right. Give them the news. Give them the accurate news, but don't scare the hell out of people. It's not right. I'm sorry. If you don't like that, well, you know, uh, you know, whatever. But don't scare people. You know, we're here to give the news, and that's all. The news. Give the accurate news without scaring the hell out of people. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. That's all I got to say. It's wrong. So anyway, this is the breaking news. It doesn't look like there's going to be an attack in the uh, today or tomorrow. It does look like that Israel uh, is going to withhold the attack for now. The attack could come later. But like I said, if there is something major going to happen in the world, uh, the headlines would be on Drudge Report. Let's go to Drudge right now. I mean, it would be in red. Israel attacks Iran. Nuclear war bombers in the air. Take cover. Go to your basement. Emergency, 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 emergency. It would be on Drudge. It would be on CNN. It would be on Fox News. Folks, it would be on your phone. Just like when Iran attacked Israel, this whole page was lit up in red. So don't be scared. Uh... You know, you can do what you want to do. If you want to watch these channels, go ahead. That's your prerogative. I can't control what people do. You know, if you want to stay up all night, you know, and don't get any sleep and have to go to work all sleepy because you stayed up all night waiting for the end of the world, you can do what you want to do, folks. But, you know, but there one, there is one thing you need to be scared of. There's one thing that you need to be scared of, and that is going to hell. If you're going to be scared of anything, if you're a sinner... You need to be scared of hell because if you don't make the right decisions in life, that's where you're going. You know, we are in the end times. There's no debate about that. There's no debate about that we're in the end times right now. Things are happening that are fulfilling Bible prophecy. And things are going to get worse on the earth. We know that. We're watching that live. I mean, we have the war in Russia. The war with Russia and Ukraine right now. I mean, that's ongoing. Uh, the situation in the Middle East, it could flare up. But, you know, the thing that I try to stress to people is that the end is coming, uh, no matter whether it's tomorrow or 40 years from now. If you're alive today, at some point in your life, you will die. You will die at some point in your life, either from a car wreck, a heart attack, a stroke, an accident cancer, a nuclear war, something's going to take you out of this world. And once that happens, you are going to either one or two places, either heaven or hell. That's the reality, folks. Jesus said, I am come to give you life and life more abundantly. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. The decisions that you make here on earth will determine where you spend eternity. And I hope you make the, the wise choice. Because you can only serve one master. You can serve Jesus Christ or you can serve the devil. That's that's the only two people you can serve. You're either for God or you're for the devil. You're either going to live your life being a sinner, smoking and drinking and cussing and backbiting and 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 hurting people and 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 telling lies. You can do that and looking at pornography and just just be the best sinner you're going to be, folks, if you're going to be a sinner, you know. But if you're going to serve God, serve God. You can only serve one master. And if you choose uh, unwisely, then you're going to suffer in eternity for hell. So I'm going to give you an opportunity, folks. Hell is real. Hell is hot. and Hell is long. And it's never going to end. But you don't have to go to hell because God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to this earth to save you from a fiery hell. An eternity of torment with demons ripping at your soul day and night, night and day in the lake of fire. You don't have to do that. You don't have to endure that because Jesus went to hell for you, took the keys of death, hell, and the grave from the devil, 
And he rose again. And he's coming back. But those that don't know him are going to suffer an eternity of torment. An eternity that will never end. So I'm going to give you an opportunity. If you're going to fear anything, you better fear God. You better fear eternity. Because if you are, if you die in your sins, then that's where you're going. So if you cannot say for 100% that if you died today, you would go to heaven and you want to make sure. If you will say this prayer, Jesus Christ will save you right now, wherever you are. Just say, dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, Lord. And I ask you right now to forgive me of all of my sins and wash them away with your precious blood. I do believe that you are the son of God. And I do believe that you died on that cross and you shed your blood for me and you rose again the third day. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving all of my sins. And thank you, Jesus, for giving me eternal life. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, you are saved and you are born again. Folks, it is so important that we get our lives straight, you know. I only wish the best for people. Uh, I really do. I really do. I only wish the best for people. I don't wish to cause harm to anybody. I don't hate anybody. But folks, um, I have a long history of taking up for people. You know, I actually got fired at a couple of my jobs because uh, the boss was uh, was uh, intimidating other employees and treating them like dirt and a dog. I stood up for those employees and they fired me. I remember working at one restaurant and this one manager was really on the dishwasher. He was cussing at him and, and treating him badly and wrong. And I stood up for the guy and they fired me, folks. I have a long history of standing up for underdogs, for, for people that can't defend themselves. And I did this at a couple jobs and get fired for it. But I'm not going to apologize that because I am here to help you. I'm not here to, to, uh, to weasel money out of you like some people think. I'm not here to give you fake news. We're here to give you the news and we're here to give you the gospel of Jesus Christ. We don't have any hidden agendas on our channel, folks. You know, I could come on and scare the hell out of you with an emergency alert every day, just like, you know, a, a bunch of other people. It's not right. It's not right, you know. And I'm sorry if I have uh, caused anybody any fear. I am sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Are, are you going to hear that from any other channel? Probably not. And, and those people watching me, they're probably going to hate me now. But folks, it's not right. You know, you know what you're doing. When you're doing these broadcasts, you know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. And you don't have to do that. You know, don't let money rule your, your life. You know, it's not right uh, giving people stress to the gill, stressing them out. It's not right. It's not right. You know, there's some things in, in, on this earth that are right or wrong, and that's not right to do that. To intentionally scare the frigging hell out of people. It's not right to do that. And I'm sorry, if you don't like it, well, you can take that up with God. You can take it up with God. If you don't like me now, I'm sorry. But I'm speaking the truth. There is right and wrong in this world. And that's not right. You know, there's a lot of things in, that, that in on the earth is not right. Like stealing, you know, going to a store stealing, cheating on your wife, that's not right. You know, bearing a false witness, that's not right. Killing somebody, that's not right. You know, there's things on this earth that are not right, folks. And if we don't stand up for right and wrong, then what kind of world are we living in? If there's not somebody with enough balls to stand up and say, that's wrong. That's wrong. You don't do that. Then what kind of world is it in that, that we live in if uh, people are so afraid to speak the truth anymore? You know, I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm not. I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. When something is right and wrong, you know. So let's be responsible in our news reporting. And I, I'm saying this to everybody watching me. Let's be responsible with our news reporting. Let's give the accurate news. You can have headlines. But let's do it in a compassionate way. A compassionate way. Because we are, uh, we are responsible uh, for the news that we give. So God bless you. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. He's coming back soon. Don't be caught dead without him. Bye-bye.